Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. The problem problem reads are determine the force in each member of the trust state if the members are in tension or compression. <clears throat> this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by RC Bell. <clears throat> right, to start with, let's draw the free body diagram. We have the hinge at A where we are going to have A Y and then uh, ax and then the roller there we only have one reaction force cy right let's apply the equations of equilibrium we we'll have summation of moments about point a equal to zero and clockwise being our reference let's find this distance here from a to e let's find this distance here right so this distance is going to be equal to um, tan 30 is going to be equal to length AE that is happening so length AE okay sorry about that length AE divided by uh, length AC okay which is just equal to length AE divided by, divided by 6 and therefore length AE is equal to 6 tan 30 right so this is 6 tan 30 right you can also find in advance this angle here so say theta is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse of 6 tan 30 divided by 3. So this gives us <coughs> 6 tan 30 divided by 3 and tan inverse of that we have a 49.11. Okay. So let's write down this one here. We'll need it. All right, 49.11 degrees. Great. So let's get rid of this. All right. So summation of moments about point A equal to zero. What do we have? We have a negative moment due to 450 by uh, 6 tan 13. And then we have, of course, 600 will not cause any moment about point A because the lever arm is equal to zero. And then we have plus CY by 6 equal to zero. Therefore, CY is just going to be equal to minus 450 times 6 times 13 divided by 6 so we have a 259 a 259 a 259.81 pounds okay 415 by 6 tan 13 divided by divided by 6 259.81 then we have summation of forces in the y what do we have we have a y uh, minus 600 uh, plus c y equal to 0 okay equal to 0 therefore CY we have, <coughs> we have uh, AY equal to we have AY equal to um, 259.81 minus 600 so AY is equal to 
and 340.19 pounds okay and then summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero we have a x plus 450 equal to zero therefore our ax is just going to be equal to minus 450 pounds so let's write down this we have ay equal to 340 <coughs> point one nine cy equal to two fifty nine point eight one and then ax will have the opposite sign which is just equal to four fifteen okay right so we have everything so let's start with joint. Uh, let's do the inspection of the structure. We have joint D. Joint D, we have three truss members that forms joint D. And the two truss members, ED and DC, are collinear, they're in a straight line. And therefore, the third member, DB, is a zero force member. Because neither do we have an applied force at joint D or an external reaction force. Therefore, BD is equal to zero pounds. So you can prove this by applying, by taking joint D and you apply the equations of equilibrium, you find that BD is equal to zero. Let's start with joint C. Again, it's up to you which joint you pick. Um, let's start with joint C. Let's just create a boundary there. So joint C. What do we have there, joint C? We have this reaction force 259.81 um, let's say this is tension BC and then let's say this is compression uh, CD and then we have 30 there all right so this one is this one is a uh, Let's find this. We have this component which is uh, CD uh, sine 30, and then we have this other one there which is CD cos 30. Right. <coughs> so, what do we have? So, let's say summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero we have a 259.81 minus cd sine 30. therefore our cd is just going to be equal to 259.81 divided by sine 30 so we have a 519.62 519.62 pounds and uh, since there is no change of sign our initial assumed direction is fine which is compression then we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero what do I have we have CD cos 30 minus BC equal to zero we just calculated what CD is so let's just replace it there 
and once we do so we'll find that our bc is going to be equal to so 45 19.62 uh, cos 30 it gives us bc is equal to 450 pounds okay and bc is in the right direction which is tension great so we are done with the first step so let's move on to the next step which is another joint <coughs> Let me make mention of uh, something here. Uh, since uh, since BD is a zero force member, we expect we expect a uh, member CD and member DE to behave like a single member uh, CE Therefore, CD is equal to uh, DE, which is equal to uh, 519.62 pounds, and it is in compression. Okay, that's very important. All right. So let's go to joint let's go to joint b why do we have a joint b of course we said db is zero bc we just found it in tension and it is a 450 uh, let's say this one is uh, in compression uh, this one is in compression. What member is this? This is member BE. And then we have uh, AB. We have AB. And let's assume it is in tension. And this angle here we say this is 49.11. So we are going to have two components from BE. We we'll have this component, then we we'll have another component. So this is BE cos uh, cos forty nine point eleven. Okay, and then we have BE sine forty nine point eleven. Right. So summation of forces in the y direction, like so, we'll find that BE is therefore equal to a zero force member. Okay. So if it is a zero force member, then summation of forces in the x direction. Okay, what do we have? Since this we are saying is equal to zero, this is equal to zero, this is equal to zero. Um, we will have um, we we'll have AB minus AB, okay, plus four fifty equal to zero, okay. This is AB here. Let me just write it properly. This is AB here. 
okay could be not here this is a b all right and then this one is this force component of ba which was going in that direction like that we get blue okay So, AB therefore is going to be equal to 450 uh, pounds and the assumed direction is fine which is tension. Alright. So, let's move on to joint. If you don't want to make this assumption that I said, since BD is a zero force member, we expect CD and D, DE to behave like a single member CE. Therefore, CD is equal to DE is equal to 519.62 pounds in compression. You can take, you can take the, uh, you can apply the equations of equilibrium at joint E and then work out. You realize that ED or DE will be equal to uh, CD okay let's go to joint a joint a so we have uh we have force there which is a 340.19 and then we have a b which we just found is a 450 and then we have the reaction force there which is a 415 and then we have and this other force here this assume is in compression let's call it ae okay and then summation of forces in the y equal to zero going up in our reference therefore we have 340.19 minus ae equal to zero Therefore, AE is just going to be equal to 340.19 pounds. Okay. 0.19 pounds. And is equal to, and is in compression. Right. I think we found all the forces, right? So we have CD in compression, right? We have BC in tension, right? Uh, we have DE, which is equal to CE. Uh, I mean DE, which is equal to CD. D equal to C D in compression. Um, we have B E, which is also a zero force member, uh, like uh, D B. D B a zero force member. Okay. Then we have A B. Uh, in tension, then we have uh, AE in compression. Okay, I think this is about it. This is about it. So, this is joint, this is joint C, this is joint B. And this is joint A. Right. I think this is about it and I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.